Good Sunday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look outside at what's going on. And as you can see on the radar here, we've got a widespread area of rain moving northeast uh, through the area, and it is moving through the county. And there are some uh, heavy showers, moderate to heavy rainfall showers that are going to be coming through here shortly. Let's go ahead and just for uh, curiosity's sake, let's do a live tracker on that and see when we'll see these come through. So let's. Uh, Put it right here where the heavier band is and like i said all this is moving north northeast so we'll bring it there and it's, we can see 716 it'll be in huntersville 720 cornelius 721 davidson 723 concord 726 canapolis 727 mooresville 731 albemarle china grove by 732 salisbury by 740 spencer by 742 and then it'll continue to move northeast after that so We'll certainly uh, keep you updated on that as we go over the next hour or so, and really keep you updated on the rain as we go through the day. This is being recorded at 712, just so you have an idea, 712 a.m., just so you have an idea, uh, you know, when you're watching this later as to where it's at. And we'll continue to keep you updated on that as we make our way through the uh, next couple of hours here. Let's go ahead now and take a look at... Um, the weather impacts that we're going to see today, this this rain will be coming to an end as we go through the daytime hours, and that's a good thing. So we'll see uh, the weather impacts are sponsored by Patterson Farms Incorporated. The greenhouse is open until December 23rd. Please keep in mind the market is closed for the holiday, but you can still order online. So if you have anything you want to order for Christmas, uh, you can still order it online and, and, and be able to get it that way. So, uh, and I'll give you details on how to figure all that out momentarily but uh the hours of operation are monday through friday 8 a.m to 5 p.m saturday 8 a.m to 12 noon and again the greenhouse is open just until uh, december 23rd so just a few days left they are running very very low on poinsettias so if there's any uh, chance that you want to get a poinsettia for christmas you'll need to do it uh as soon as possible just not today because they're closed today uh, again if you want to get more information visit rowancountyweather.com at the top of our uh, home page you will see this exact same banner like you're seeing on your screen now just click on that banner it'll take you to the patterson farm incorporated website where you can can get all the details on how to whether order gift baskets or something from the market or if you want to pick up something from the greenhouse rain moves through during the day today we'll see mostly cloudy conditions as we go through the afternoon hours and then into the evening hours uh, we can't rule out a few isolated showers uh, looking at probably around a half an inch of rainfall uh, overall from this today the most of it will come with that heavy band that'll be moving through here shortly we just talked about a moment ago the five-day forecast sponsored by sa sloop heating and cooling built on integrity give them a call 704-857-5684 visit them on their website www.sasloop.com mention you saw they sponsor the forecast on rowan county weather they'll give you 25 dollars off your first time service call remember as we're winding down this holiday season to visit local our friends at euro and have all the details on that you can visit them on our website at uh, www.rowancountyweather.com uh, on the forecast tab just click on that tab it'll take you to the forecast page and then you can click on the visit local banner or graphic and it will take you over to the your rowan website for all the details on everything going on around the county in terms of festivities or anything like that today we'll see a 70% uh, chance of rain as we move through the day, 47 degrees for the high, 37 for the low this evening. Again, could see some isolated showers this evening, but we're going to really develop into mostly cloudy skies really after the rain starts to move out, and that'll start to happen in the afternoon hours. On Monday, we'll see partly cloudy skies, high of 55 as the warm front comes through behind the rain. We'll see a low of 36 with mostly clear skies Monday evening. On Tuesday, we'll see sunny skies with a high of 54. A low of 30 with clear skies on Tuesday evening. On Wednesday, we'll see partly sunny skies with a high of 53, low of 42. We've got a cold front that'll start moving into the area on Christmas Eve. And as it does, it's going to bring rain in front of it. So we'll see a high of 60 degrees with an 80% chance of rain on Christmas Eve. And that's pretty much going to be throughout the day on Christmas Eve. As we get into Christmas Eve evening, we'll see a low of 36 degrees. And again, the rain chances are 80%. I know a lot of folks have been thinking that we would see snow based on some social media chatter that's been going on out there. But again, there's been nothing that has indicated to me we would see snow. Uh, the models have continuously shown, with the exception of one, 
that's being shared on the internet, one model says that it's going to snow. But out of all the other models that are out there, everything has shown the precipitation moving in, the moisture moving in while the warm air is in place. And then when the cold air comes through, a high pressure comes through with it and everything is dry on the backside. And you've got to have all those ingredients in play and we just will not have that. Now in the mountains of North Carolina, they have an opportunity to see the precipitation arrive as the cold air is moving in or the precipitation still being around, excuse me, as the cold air is moving in. So the opportunity for the folks in the mountains to see some snow for Christmas Eve uh, is still very good at this point. But again, for Rowan County, it's going to be a rain here. Uh, so again, we'll keep you updated on that as we go through the next couple of days as well. For now, uh, if you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather, you can visit us on our website, www.rowancountyweather.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Give us some follows and likes on all three of those social media platforms. And you can also check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. That's on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16. And one last thing before we go, don't forget we're doing our Santa Tracker on Christmas Eve. We'll be providing updates throughout the day on Christmas Eve as to where Santa is as he makes his journey around the world and on his way here to Rowan County to to bring presents to all the kids here in Rowan County. Uh, we're gonna have several ways you can check out the Santa Tracker during the day on Christmas Eve. You can check it out on our website at rowancountyweather.com. You can also check it out on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, it's also going to be available on WSRG TV throughout the day as well. We'll break in and give you updates throughout the day on all those platforms on where Santa is as he makes his way toward Rowan County. As always, thank you for following Rowan County weather. We'll keep you updated on the rain as we move through the day today. But for now, enjoy your Sunday, everybody.